Hello Leo, welcome to your January 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Yanagi, you're watching Thomas Tower Reading. If you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Please like, subscribe and share. Now what we will do here as usual, we will um, separate your being into three areas. Um, so we will look at the overall energy as it presents itself to you in the month of January 2023, before we then look at your emotional core, right? Maybe there's love coming in, maybe there's trauma that needs to be looked at, all that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities. Opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. That said, money or finances is not a spiritual currency, so it is hard to manifest it. The advice is always to understand when you look at opportunities, they should also really reflect who you are on a spiritual level and sustain you and fulfill you on that level as well. And I'm not using cards this month. I have um, crystal balls. Um, they, I call them galaxy balls because they are crystal balls with resin, which allows me to see galaxies. And because I do astrology, it allows me to connect uh, better, I suppose, to your star sign. And I have two different ones that also have um, different meanings and I do not know yet which one I will be drawn to in the end. So I'm going to show the two of you. The first one um, that I could be using is the beautiful dolphin one. The dolphin one is really about perception. How do you see the world? How does the world see you? So everything should I be using this one? Everything you hear me say everything that comes from the guides and I'm, and I'm just sharing it you ought to reflect on it by figuring out where am i in the scheme of things right so it's about perception right so what does that mean for you in the life that you're already living right so that's going to be that would be that guy and then the other guy that i have here is the dragon galaxy ball the dragon is associated with the element of water. Water is the element of purity. Water is the element of within. And it is also associated with the color gold, which is a conduit, which is your connection to your energy and your imprint to your star sign. So everything, should I be using this guy? Everything you hear me say, see it or answer it from how do I feel about it? Right? Answer it from within. Okay? So, that's the two options. Um, and now I just have to have a look for the sign of... Where are we? Leo. <laughs> for the sign of Leo, which one am I actually drawn to? Or which one talks to me more at this point in time? And the dragon is the one that wants to be looked at. Okie dokie. So we're looking at the overall energy for the month of January 2023 for the sign of Leo. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yanai. Please like, subscribe and share widely. Now, with regards to your overall energy, Leos, you have a trine, which is sort of a triangle thing. What that means is that anything and everything you plan in January 2023 has a much higher chance of actually working, right? So you work with other people. In January, you will be very much in tune with their energy, so you can actually really work together very well. The energy of January, as, as the overall energy for, for Leo, is about understanding that you don't have to go things alone. Um, and because your energy is really there this month, um, you will notice that people actually respond to it quite a bit. So this is a good month with regards to um, not just work, but understanding as the overall energy, as far as the overall energy is concerned, um, whatever it is you're doing with your life, uh, anything you want to look at, um, this month it's going to be much easier to see what's what. Okie dokie, now let's look at your um, emotional core. Leo's for the month of January 2023. Okay, now Again, these are general readings, so they may not resonate with all of you, but because this is sort of a bit more specific, I'm seeing a moon and another moon. 
which means this is all about your love life, it's all about your emotions. How do I really feel? And when I tilt the dragon slightly, right? So when I tilt it slightly, the smaller moon fits into the larger moon just perfectly. So ask yourself why is that smaller moon not inside the larger moon? What is it that hasn't happened yet to make the relationship you either have or you want to manifest to make that really work? Right? This is about positive energy. As energies, whatever it is or whoever it is you're dealing with or whatever it is you're trying to manifest, the energy is not wrong at this point in time. So, because it fits, which means this isn't about necessarily, I mean, you know, you live your life the way you live your life and if you are in a shitty relationship, by all means, feck it, you know. But the energy here, as regards to your emotional core, is about making things work rather than not work, right? But ask yourself, why is that smaller moon not docking on to the larger moon, which is what represents you? And figure this out. And now lastly, we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of January 2023. For the sign of Leo, you are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janat. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Let's look at opportunities. Now, <laughs> this cracks me up. I'm seeing the same image reversed. So when it comes to opportunities, don't be the person that thinks that you are the person that needs someone else to pay you. So should you be employed and, um, and the company are a bunch of bricks, right? You don't have to stay there. There's always other stuff that you could be doing with your life, right? right? You're, you're Leo. You, you, you are governed by the sun. You're the only sun governed by the sun. The, the sun is your drive. If anybody, ha anyone, anybody on this planet has drive, it's going to be you. So the point is, this is about figuring out in the scheme of things, when it comes to what I want to do with my life, especially what sustains you, if that makes sense. Am I in the right place? Is the other party I work with, and that could be anything, that could be if you're self-employed, but you have to um, hire venues, or you have to book a room, you have to travel, right? Um, so even if you, let's just say you, you, you just travel, you have to ask yourself, is the, the opportunities that I have, the possibilities that I have to travel, do they make any sense? So in short, for instance, if, if there is tons of, um, of um, strikes going on, right? Do you have to take the train? Are there other ways? Or maybe you should diversify. So it's this sort of energy that I'm getting with regards to your opportunities. It's finding out what the other party, the other part of your endeavors are doing that makes your life difficult. And then see if you either can talk to them about it um, or if it can be changed or ought to be changed. And if, they, if there are changes to be made, it is on you to make them, Leos. Okie dokie, that's all we got for this month. I hope I see you back in February. Please like, subscribe and share. And hey, you can even comment. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the galaxy balls. Um, this is how I call them, galaxy balls. <laughs> um, haven't used them all that much um, in readings yet uh, because it just came to me. Point is, they will probably be a feature because I really gel with them. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Right? And I see you all hopefully next month. Bye-bye.